Kia ora, Scrappy Kia here, uh, also known as Lara, and I'm working on another layout for series 12 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, and this layout sketch has been created by Shannon Blinn. Now I'm going to do a half page of this, or I'm trying to gonna, gonna try to sort of split it down onto a single page layout. So instead of being spread across two, across a double page, I'm just going to put it into the one page. Now I'm continuing on my sort of theme over the last few videos of using my Scrappy Kia layout kit from June uh, to pull this together into into a layout and so with these different kits I provide cutting guides and instructions on how to put these layouts together so um, I have been a little bit cheeky in using the sketches however I have given full credit to our sketch designers uh, and named them in this process and I'm also going to be linking Shannon's um, link up below uh, it's been a really fun way of creating some layouts and encouraging others to have a go at these and hopefully they will share them as well over on the 30 days of sketches group um, yeah so pretty cool uh, having these um, layouts and having this inspiration so I'm just creating sort of that central banner that was in Shannon's uh, sketch with some of the zip strips now the kit that I put together here is using a mixture of hey handsome the um, mix-ins for April May and June of the close to my heart um, range also uses some cassette shapes so you can see there aren't many left there over on the right that's sort of those newsprints uh, the sticker sheet that comes with the hey handsome um, papers and also some little black stars that you can see over to the right there as well so by creating um, this sort of border across the middle I've created where I'm going to do my photos and arranging them in a logical order is kind of um, the biggest thing that comes up here and then working out how I'm going to separate them from the background I've used sort of two different tones of green paper patterned paper there rather than completely contrasting or separate colors so in the kit I also included a spare sheet of white daisy for people to mat their own photos so here I am um, putting that together um, I'm just sticking these down and I will trim around them I'm going to leave quite a thin border of the white and that'll just help to separate this from the background of the the papers and things like that so they've got their own frame and they sort of get to stand alone as a piece of that so just going to roughly cut them with my scissors and then I'll cut between them as well so that they've each got their own little white border and you can see them coming together there um, so the next job is going to be to arrange them in a logical order there's sort of two um, two-ish themes um, that I can bring into this uh, one of them sort of down on the beach and one of them's in at home um, so working out how to layer these in now this piece of patterned paper I'm just going to use some of the leftover pieces from the kit to um, create a bit of a border around some photos so these two are the central photos so I'm going to put them in the middle of each of these um, clusters of photos at the top and at the bottom And as I seem to have done a little bit lately with my white pen, I'm just going to create a wee border along the top and bottom line of this added paper. It just helps to show that they are a little bit different, especially when you're looking at it from this angle, you don't really see it. It does look quite different in real life. So now just sticking the photos down, um, putting them a little bit off kilter, not very good at doing straight. Um, it sort of doesn't fit my style of doing things. So um, just sort of curling these around a little bit. So tucking them on and I'm gonna bring in some of those black stars as well as having a look at the stickers. So I'm going to use um, these sort of tab stickers here to create a little bit of a cluster. And so I'm gonna sort of tuck these in I'm still sort of deciding where to do that and I decided to sort of put this wee cluster up the top. I did have another wee look at the sketch to work out um, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do some of these things but I ended up just sort of starting with the sketch and then continuing on in my own way a little bit. So some of these stickers here look kind of cool just bringing it up but I needed to also bring that circular shape in uh, in some other places so those sort of tabs have a bit of a rounded top and by bringing in some of the cassette half circles in that newsprinty paper I think I've sort of been able to create that echo or that mirror um, reflection um, so it's at the top and the bottom and the we um, tab things up there don't look like they're completely out of place so just having a look around at what other things there are to pull in 
um, there's some kind of cool words and things on the sticker sheet that I'm just going to pop those onto the page as well. Um, this particular kit did have quite a few leftovers for people to um, pull together some other pages and cards so I'm interested to see what other people created with the leftovers from the kit um, but this gave me a really good start. So this, um, I sort of called this kit the Remarkable Kit um, and so bringing in this title towards the end of these layouts was kind of um, part of pulling all of this together into um, into a layout so people I said before that people will get cutting guides and they will get instructions on how to pull these together when I'm creating the kits I am normally um, just doing the creating and then at the end I get out my ruler and I measure up the pieces and work out how I manage to cut the different bits I have to be really careful of orientation um, of what I say that I cut uh, because I've got some really good mathematicians who are quite good at saying oh this isn't quite right um, and then coming up with solutions to fix things I really love how people are able to make these kits their own um, and come up with some different twists and also make it fit the photos that they've got um, uh, and so here I'm just adding the journaling down the bottom here sort of above those little circle tabs so at the moment um, there is a couple of specials going on at close to my heart um, that I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about um, so there is one where you can sign up to be a maker and basically you get it essentially for free you have to pay the sign up fee but then you get that much back as um, close to my heart cash and also um, there's a new bundle offer out for VIPs um, the other thing that I'm really looking forward to soon is the close to my heart annual kind of convention um, and in this convention we get access to what's coming up in the new essentials catalogue we sort of get first-hand information about changes and new products and new lines and new colors the color of the year is always a pretty exciting time um, I am basically a close to my heart maker because um, it means I get a 25% discount so I don't um, while I'm doing a little bit of a promo here I'm not actively out um, running classes and workshops and stuff like that I just basically do it so I can get the products that I like for a cheaper price so um, if that sounds a bit like you and you're here in New Zealand feel free to let me know if not I've done my job in letting you know because I wouldn't want to um, not enable people I've been well known in the past as an enabler lots of friends ended up buying cricket machines and Canon selfies and things so uh, if you're interested let me know here's the layout that's all finished thanks Shannon for your gorgeous sketch